dear fellow students, welcome to Jom Study Live YouTube channel. Today, our presentations will be focused on AAS level for biology and the topic related to cells and nuclear division. At this advanced scenario level, we delve deeper into the heart of biology where we explore the intricacies of cells and nuclear divisions. Let's get into it. Mitosis. Multicellular organism begin as a single cell that can be divides repeatedly to produce all the cells in the adult organism. The type of cells division involved in growth is called mitosis. Mitosis is also used to produce new cells to replace ones that have damage, that is to repair tissues. Mitosis involved in a sexual reproduction in which a single parent gives rise to genetically identical offspring. Mitosis is divisions of the nucleus of the cells, where the cells itself usually divide, and this is called cytokinesis. Let's look into the process or the cycle of cell cycles and mitosis. From this diagram, you can see that the two G phases and S phase make up the interface. During the growth of an organism, many of its cells go through a continuous cycle of growth and mitotic division, which is called cell cycle. For most of the cell cycle, the cells continues with normal activities, and it also grows as the result of the productions of the new molecules of protein and other substances which increase the quantity of cytoplasm in the cells. Each original chromosome is made up of one gate in one cube. So, after replication complete, each chromosome is made of two identical gates in one cube, which are called chromatids, and they remain joined to together, which is called centromere. During mitosis, two chromatids split apart and move to opposite ends of the cells. A new nuclear envelope then forms around each group, and these two nuclei each contain a complete set of DNA molecules identical to those in the original parent cells. Mitosis produces two genetically identical nuclei from one parent's nuclear. And after mitosis is complete, the cells usually divide into two, with one of the new nuclei in each of the two new cells, and the daughter cells are genetically identical to each other and their parent cells. Let's look into how control of the cell divisions happen. Each cell contains genes that help to control when it divides. Cells divide by mitosis only when they are required to do so. This involves signal from neighbor cells to which the cells respond by either dividing or not dividing. If control goes wrong, then cells may not divide, but when they should. Growth does not take place or wound, so not heal, or they may divide when they should not so that a tumor may form. Cancer is a disease that can result when genes that normally control cell division mutate. The cell may divide over and over again, forming an irregular mass of cells. If the tumor is malignant, then some of these cells may break off and start to form new tumors elsewhere in the body. Several division control genes must be played before a cell becomes cancerous, and this can happen just by chance. The risk is increased by any factors that can cause mutation, including ionizing radiations, which is from radioactive sources, emitting alpha, beta, gamma radiations from X-ray, or the cause mutation 
can be from ultraviolet radiation, which is from sunlight. Or it could be from various chemicals, including several containing tar from tobacco smoke, or from viruses, for example, HPV, human papilloma virus, which can cause cervical cancer. Let's look into what try to explain about haploid and diploid cells. Diploid, most of the cells in our body are diploid cells, which is contain two complete sets of chromosomes, and each cell has two sets of 23 chromosomes, making 46 chromosomes altogether. In the original cells from which you began, one of these set came from your father and one from your mother. At these cells divided by mitosis, each daughter cells obtain a complete copy of each cell. Meanwhile, haploid is the sperm and egg that fuse the fertilization to produce the original cell, which contain only one set of chromosomes. And this is called haploid cells. They each contain 23 chromosomes. When they fuse together, this will produce a diploid zygote with two sets of chromosomes. And then we have meiosis. Meiosis is actually a, the sperm and egg cells are produced from diploid cells by a special type of nuclear division, which is called meiosis. In meiosis, the chromosomes are shared out so that each daughter cells get only half of the original number of chromosomes. Meiosis produce haploid cells from diploid cells, and in human, meiosis only happen in the testes and ovaries, and it's sometimes known as a reduction division because it reduces the number of chromosomes in the cells by half. Let's look into the phase, mitosis, and cytokinesis in animal cells. Let's look into the prophase. Prophase is the chromosome condense and the centralios duplicate. At this stage, the centralio pairs move towards each pole and the splinter begin to form. That prophase. And when it becomes the metaphase, the nuclear envelope disappear. And the central pairs are at the poles, and the splinter is completely formed. And the chromosome continue to condense, the splinter fibers attach to the central mirrors of the chromosome, and the splinter fiber pull on the central mirrors, arranging them on the equator. And the phase three is anaphase the link between sister chromatic break. The central mirror of sister chromatic move apart, pulled by the splinter fiber. And the fourth phase is a telophase. Telophase is a sister chromatic now effectively separate chromosome, the rich opposite poles. And the chromosome decodense nuclear envelope begin to form around the chromosome at each pole. The splinter disappears, slowly disappears. And in this step five, cytokinesis, the cell divides into two cells, either by infolding of the plasma membrane in animal cells or by formations of a new cell's wall and plasma membrane in plant. Please remember that you do not need to know how meiosis takes place for the AS examination. This is only for A2. That's all for today's presentation. Hope that you really understand and enjoy your topics. And please don't forget to subscribe to Jom Stamina YouTube channel. Thank you for listening.